तो हेलो एवरीवन एम आई विजिबल ऑडिबल टू यू पीपल हेलो एवरीवन एम आई विजिबल ऑडिबल टू यू पीपल लेट मी कंफर्म इफ विजिबिलिटी ऑडिबिलिटी इज ग्रेट आई विल स्टार्ट द क्लास लेट मी सी इफ आई कैन सी एम आई लाइव और नॉट काइंडली समवन गिव मी थम्स अप इन द चैट बॉक्स इफ यू कैन सी मी इफ यू कैन हियर मी ओके आई थिंक इट्स वॉकिंग आई थिंक So Arthi, is it working? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Kindly give me a thumbs up in the chat box if you can see me. If you can hear me clearly. Okay, I guess I can see your chat. So a very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all for this session. I am Dr. Priyanka Sajdev here, and today I am here to start a fresh series, a new series of pharmacology. So in this series, I will cover the most important topics of the entire pharmacology. on youtube as well as on special classes of an academy the free special classes of an academy so some lectures will be on youtube and some lectures will be on special classes of an academy so today is the first day of the series right so let me start with general pharmacology so first i will cover general pharmacology i will start with pharmacokinetics you can see pharmacokinetics is a difficult topic to understand i will give you the concepts now most of the students think that pharma is a subject to mug up but i challenge it i didn't accept it right pharma is a subject which has to understand not has to mug up wherever mugging is required i will give you the mnemonic so don't mug the pharma please understand the concepts so i will teach you the entire pharmacology in a very unique way you have never studied pharmacology in such a simplified manner that i can challenge you so let's give a trial we will start with general pharmacology today we will start with pharmacokinetics so today i will take a 3 or 3 and half hour 4 hour lecture i will try to finish pharmacokinetics today or if something is remaining we will continue pharmacokinetics tomorrow and tomorrow is a day for pharmacodynamics so after pharmacokinetics and dynamics the general pharmacology the major chunk will be over after that we will move on systemic pharmacology in systemic pharmacology i will teach you the entire autonomic nervous system ans i will teach you peripheral nervous system dynesthetic drugs pns right neuromuscular blockers i will teach you cardiovascular system cvs i will teach you central nervous system cns so these are the four major systems in pharmacology ans pns cvs cns apart from it blood is there anticoagulants git is there the diarrhea drugs constipation drugs respiratory system is there the asthma drugs cough drugs you know so and after that the most important is antimicrobial the chemotherapy drugs and anti cancer drugs so i will go in a sequence it will take few days you can say or a month about to finish the entire pharmacology so today is the first lecture of the series so i hope you will understand and enjoy it so without wasting time i'm just starting it so have a look give me a minute okay so in pharmacology we have two branches in pharmacology pharmacology what is pharmacology pharmacology is a science of drugs by drugs i mean the medical drugs right it is a branch of drugs right so there are two branches pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics pk and pd so what do you mean by pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics just suppose i am having any disease i am the patient i am having any disease just suppose i am having headache i am having migraine headache right so i will take a drug to treat my headache so i will take some medicine some drug right so drug will go in my mouth it will go in my esophagus it will go in my stomach it will go in my intestine from the stomach or intestine it will be absorbed the drug will be absorbed so the drug will reach the blood now after going in the blood the blood, the blood the drug will be distributed throughout the body now wherever the particular receptor of that particular drug will be present drug will bind to that receptor and act on that cell so if i am having headache i want the drug to to act on brain parenchyma or i want the drug to act on the blood vessels of the brain parenchyma right to treat my headache if i am having diarrhea i want the drug to act on intestine if i am having tachycardia i want the drug to act on the heart so target organ of the drug may be different depending on the disease right now you are a doctor you should understand all these right so depending on the disease the target organ of the drug is different different drugs have different receptors to act on various target organs so if i am having headache the drug from the blood after absorbing from the blood it will go to the brain parenchyma bind to it bind to the blood vessels of the brain parenchyma and treat my headache so drug is curing my disease so whatever drug is doing in my body see what i am saying what the drug drug does drug does in body is pharmacodynamics 
D for drug. Drug is doing. So, drug is curing. By acting on the receptor, it is curing my disease. By acting on brain parenchyma, it is acting my head. It is treating my headache. By acting on the intestine, it is treating my diarrhea or constipation. Acting on the heart, it is treating my tachycardia, bradycardia. So, whatever disease I am having, drug is treating it. But drug cannot take it, uh, uh, act directly on the brain. Now, if I am having headache, I cannot apply the drug directly here. I have to take it by mouth. So, first from the mouth, it will go in esophagus, stomach and uh, intestine then it will be absorbed from the blood it will come to the brain and then brain it will act so what the body is doing to the drug body body does to drug what the body does to drug is known as pharmacokinetics so first pharmacokinetics come then dynamics drug cannot act directly on the organ please understand it before reaching the organ it has to cross various barrier various barrier so what the body does to the drug it is fine. And after, just suppose drug has acted on the brain parenchyma, it has treated my migraine. Now what? Where the drug will go after that? I want that drug to be excreted out of the body. I cannot keep it there in the blood forever. Right? I have I have to excrete the drug out of the my body because its function is over. So excretion is also. So excretion will be done by human kidney. Right? My kidney. My kidney, it will be excreted in urine. Right? So it is also a part of pharmacokinetics. So there are two parts. There are two parts in uh, pharmacology, pharmacokinetics and dynamics. So, as I have told you, pharmacodynamics, D for dynamics, what the drug does to the body is pharmacodynamics, right? That is mechanism of action of the drug, the main mechanism of action of the drug. But before that, what is pharmacokinetics? What the body does to the drug, that is first the body will absorb it, then it will distribute it to that particular organ, then it will metabolize it and ultimately the body will excrete it. So, pharmacokinetics have four parts. Pharmacokinetics have four parts. Everyone give me a thumbs up if you got my point. Let me see if I can see your chat yes or no. Give me a minute. I have to confirm. Okay. Yes, I guess I can see your chat. Okay. So, pharmacokinetics. So, the summary is that there are two branches, pharmacokinetics and dynamics. Kinetics, what the body does to the drug. And dynamics, what the drug does to the body. So, do you have any confusion in it? So, in pharmacokinetics, there are four things. Body first absorb the drug, then distribute. Just suppose I am taking it by mouth. There are various routes. I can take it by mouth, by intramuscular, IV, subcutaneous, intradermal. There are various routes. So, via any route, first it will be absorbed in the blood. Right? Oral is the most common route. So, it will go in the stomach and intestine, it will be absorbed in the blood. After absorbing, it will go throughout the body, but wherever receptors are present, it will go there. So, that is known as distribution. So, second is distribution. After distribution, it will show its action. It will go in the brain. It will treat my headache. So, after distribution, there is pharmacodynamics. That I will teach you later on. But after pharmacodynamics, I want the drug to get excreted out of the body. Now, its job is over. I want to get it excreted. But excretion cannot be direct. First, you have to metabolize the drug, then it will be excreted. So, there are four parts in pharmacokinetics. What are the four parts? Absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion. The mnemonic is ADME in pharmacokinetics. In pharmacodynamics, there is only mechanism of action of the drug. Mechanism of action. So, let me teach you the definition of the two. What is the definition of pharmacodynamics? What the drug is doing to the body. That is mechanism of action of the drug. Right? Mechanism of action of the drug. That I will teach you tomorrow. But what the body does to the drug is pharmacokinetics. It has four parts. Absorption, you can see. Distribution, you can see. Metabolism or biotransformation, one and the same thing. Right, you can see. And excretion. So, ADME is the mnemonic. Everyone give me a thumbs up. ADME. So, you can see. Okay, I will draw a diagram for you. So, see, this is the GIT. Just suppose I am the patient. I am having headache. I am taking this example just to explain you, right? So, this is the drug I am taking by mouth. So, this is drug A. I am taking to treat it my headache. So, it will go inside my mouth. It will go inside my esophagus. It will go inside my stomach. And it will go in my intestine. Now, some drugs are absorbed from stomach, acidic medium. Some drugs are absorbed from intestine, basic medium. I will, I will teach you the pH also, right? Don't worry, we will come on that. So, after absorption, the drug will reach the blood. The drug will reach the blood. This part is known as absorption. What is the definition of absorption? It is the transport of the blood from the site of administration to blood, to the blood circulation. Wherever you are, you are giving it, you can give it by mouth, you can give it intramuscular, you can give it subcutaneous, intradermal, IV, whatever you are giving. From the site of administration, the drug has to be absorbed inside the blood. So, this step is known as absorption. So, ultimately, drug reach the blood. Ultimately, the drug is reached the blood. Give me a thumbs up. After reaching the blood, 
it will go its site of action it will go its to its site of action the site of action depends on the disease if i am having headache the site of action is brain if i am having diarrhea the site of action is intestine if i am having tachycardia bradycardia it will be heart right it it can be any organ in the body if i am having muscle spasms the site of the action will be skeletal muscle so it can be anything give me a thumbs up so this this portion is known as distribution distribution so first absorption is required from site of administration to blood after coming in the blood distribution is required from blood to the site of action so from administration to blood it is absorption from blood to site of action it is distribution i hope it is clear to you right now after it it is showing its action here so here comes the role of pharmacodynamics that i will teach you tomorrow right so here after going at its site of action drug will show its action that is its mechanism of action it will treat the headache diarrhea whatever disease is it that is its main mechanism of action for what i am taking the drug so that is pharmacodynamics that we will see tomorrow just suppose it has treated the disease it has cured the disease now i want the drug to get excreted out of the body right so blood uh, from the site of action again it will come in the blood again it will come in the blood right and it want to go to the kidney it want to go to the kidney so that it can be excreted in urine and excreted out of the body but the problem is that urine is liquid urine is water it is liquid so whatever the drug you want to get excreted in the urine excreted in the urine that drug should be polar then only it will dissolve in the water and excreted in the urine but most of the drugs are non polar so before excretion you have to send the drug to the liver to convert non polar drug into polar drug non polar drug to polar drug so that it can be excreted out of the body so the, this step is known as metabolism or biotransformation it takes place in liver so metabolism or, or biotransformation the non polar drug get converted into polar drug non polar get converted to polar and this polar drug will come in blood again from the blood it will go to the kidney and get excreted out of the body and the last step is known as excretion so see the sequence first there is absorption then distribution then metabolism or biotransformation then excretion you tell me the definition of all four then i will give you the details of all four there are four chapters in pharmacokinetics the diagram is in front of you beautiful diagram i have drawn for you everyone give me a thumbs up i am trying hard come on come on so what is absorption who will tell me the definition please write it down absorption absorption is the transport of drug from site of administration till blood so you are taking it by mouth from mouth it will go where 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 and ultimately it will be absorbed in the blood so it will go in esophagus intestine stomach and ultimately it will reach the blood so this step is known as absorption after reaching in the blood it will go its site of action so from blood to site of action this step is known as distribution so after absorption you require distribution after distribution there is pharmacokinetic pharmacodynamics leave it we will study tomorrow so but just suppose pharmacodynamics is over drug has shown its action at the site of action drug has treated the disease now you want to excrete the drug so drug will again come in the blood right but can it directly go to the kidney no because drug is non polar it cannot be excreted directly so before excretion you require one more step that is metabolism so in metabolism the drug will go to the liver the liver will convert non polar drug to polar drug that is known as metabolism or bio transformation so after bio transformation it will again come in the blood and from blood it will go to the kidney so see the whole diagram everyone see please see i am telling you the sequence so this is the drug first from the site of administration and not it, it uh, i will teach you in the whole chapter the site of administration is oral but please imagine it can be anything it is not always oral it can be any route it can be intramuscular subcutaneous right it can be any route but i will most common example i will say this for the sake of understanding thumbs up dete jana come on and if you have any doubt i will address it in the end don't worry i can see your chat arti let me let me yeah so this is the definition you have written arti very good so on youtube you see i have to take two i i, I have to take the lecture on the laptop and i have to see your chat on the mobile so i have to to use two gadgets uh, for completing the lecture so it is somewhat difficult lecture i feel on youtube to take anyways we will complete it so i will see your chat don't worry so from the site of administration the drug first will go to the blood it will go here 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 and ultimately it will reach the blood so this step is absorption so from blood it will go to its site of action the drug will go to its site of action this step is known as distribution so absorption is over distribution is over you can see administration to blood and blood to site of action absorption and distribution after that drug will come again in the blood from blood it will go in liver in liver and non polar drug get converted to polar in the liver so this step is known as metabolism or biotransformation 
from liver once it get converted from non polar to polar the polar drug again come in the blood and from the blood it will go in the kidney and finally excreted out of the body so this step is known as excretion so see the diagram is crystal clear in front of you uh, just a second let me see yeah the diagram is crystal clear in front of you everyone give me a thumbs up if you got the four steps of pharmacokinetics i will give you the detail of all of them one by one so does it clear to you do you have any doubt in this i hope you don't have any doubt in this so this is our master diagram in which in which i will teach you the four chapters absorption distribution metabolism and excretion in this diagram only i will teach you this diagram is given nowhere in the book i have made this diagram for the sake of understanding for all of you give me a thumbs up so let me so this is the diagram given in kdt this which is a mimicker of this diagram so this is the diagram you can see so this is your drug you can see so from site of administration to blood this step is absorption it is going in blood can you see this is blood this is blood so this is site of administration to blood after going in blood it is going to its site of action this is known as distribution from site of distribution it is going again coming in the blood and going in the liver for metabolism for biotransformation right and after that again coming in blood and going in the urine basically that is known as excretion so these are the four steps everyone give me a thumbs up do you have any doubt in this so absorption distribution metabolism excretion are the four chapters to be covered today so the most difficult one which i found till date the most difficult one is the excretion do you have numericals in your syllabus numericals from this topic so maximum numericals will be from excretion excretion me se bahut sare numericals aate hain in your exam so i will help you in solving numericals also in excretion it is the most difficult to understand but i will try my best so okay before coming on all of these one by one there are few polls based on the definition of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics after that i will start with pharmacokinetics the four chapters one by one give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so you have to write your answer in the chat box there is no poll to launch right whatever answer you feel write down in the chat box i can see your chat please write down so please see the question please i will read the question for you pharmacokinetics include all of the following except except so the options are absorption distribution adverse effects and excretion so what is except here please write down arti okay so uh, siddhi uh, everyone shochi abhirami arti i can't read everyone is right very good very good you all are right so correct answer but of course c adverse effect is not a part so you know the four parts a d m e so absorption is a part distribution is a part excretion is a part but the fourth is metabolism not adverse effect so correct answer is c give me a thumbs up the correct answer is c very good very good this is the next question in front of you very good so this is the next question pharmacodynamics include i am talking about dynamics what is pharmacodynamics is it drug elimination is it drug excretion is it drug absorption or is it mechanism of action of the drug so very easy i am asking about pharmacodynamics that i will teach you tomorrow so pharmacodynamics have only one branch what is the one branch you all are right very good so abrar arti shochi gautam very good everyone is right so correct answer here is d it is mechanism of action so the summary is that pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics summary is that pharmacokinetics has four branches absorption distribution metabolism or biotransformation excretion but pharmacodynamics has only one branch mechanism of action that's it have you got it okay so pharmacokinetics what the drug do i'm sorry what the body does to the drug right and pharmacodynamics what the drug does to the body everyone give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up okay so this is the next question in front of you please solve what is pharmacodynamics same question with different option same question with different option read the options what is pharmacodynamics i am asking dynamics so what the drug does on body what the body does on drug or absorption of drug or metabolism of drug what do you say what do you say okay siddhi is first to answer and she is right anyone else okay abhirami abrar everyone is right very good so d for d what the drug does to the body very good so correct answer here is a you can rule out other options also uh, this is the definition of pharmacokinetics 
right what the body does to the drug absorption and metabolism are also part of pharmacokinetics not dynamics so these three options are for pharmacokinetics right only one is true for pharmacodynamics and you all are right so let me move ahead let me move ahead let me start with these four okay before starting with these four i would like to tell you something listen listen the story again listen the story again so as i have told you the drug you are taking by mouth this is the drug see this is your drug you are taking by mouth for any disease so the drug will go here 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 now some drugs are absorbed from acidic medium some are absorbed from basic medium but how the drug is absorbed how the drug so there are cells okay so there are cells in the stomach can you see the lining of the cell there are cells in the stomach and in the intestine so this drug will go here from from the lumen of the stomach and intestine inside the cell and then it will come outside the cell and after coming outside the cell it will enter the blood vessel so it has to do transport it is known as biological transport biological biological membrane it has to the cells are are covered by membrane na? all cells have a membrane so can you see it has to first go inside the cell and then come out of the cell so it has to cross the membrane twice for going inside the cell first and then coming out of the cell and then entering in the blood so after entering in the blood as i have told you it will go to its site of action this is the site of action now this is also made up of cells it can be liver it can be brain it can be intestine it can be kidney it can be heart depending what is the disease so here also drug will again enter inside the cell and after showing its action again it will come out and come in the blood right here the liver is also made up of cells there is a point behind it liver and kidney are also made up of cells so drug after coming here it will enter the liver cell after showing metabolism non polar to polar it will again come out of liver and then it will enter in the kidney and go out of the body so in the entire process the drug is crossing the membrane of the cell multiple times multiple times are you agreed yes or no so this is known as transport of the drug so how so just suppose just a second okay so this is a cell now this cell can be liver it can be kidney it can be site of action it can be stomach it can be intestine any cell so this is the drug so drug is entering inside all of them one by one during absorption it enters inside stomach and intestine right during distribution it is entering inside site of action during metabolism it is entering inside liver and during excretion it is entering inside kidney so how drug enters inside a cell and come out of a cell during all these mechanism this is known as transport the various types of transport active transport passive transport um you know diffusion filtration there are various types of transport so before starting the four chapters one by one i will teach you the four chapters what are the four chapters you already know this is absorption this is distribution this is metabolism this is excretion i will teach you all four but all four requires one thing which is common that is transport the drug is doing transport inside the cell give me a thumbs up so understand pharma don't learn it so let me finish transport first a 10 minute lecture on transport then i will start the chapters one by one the first chapter i will start today is absorption give me a thumbs up you are not giving the thumbs up so here during transport during transport drug transport drug has to cross the biological membrane by biological membrane i mean the cell membrane which cell the cell can be anything the cell can be stomach cell the lining of the stomach cell the lining of the intestine cell it can be liver it can be site of action any organ it can be kidney i hope you got my point so drug is crossing various cells during the entire journey it is entering inside stomach also intestine also site of action it can it can be any organ it is entering inside liver also inside kidney also so this cell can be any cell right give me a thumbs up so the cell all cells all cell membrane so this is a cell the membrane of the cell tell me the structure of the membrane of the cell you have studied in biochemistry so you can see the membrane of the cell is a bilayer it is a bilayer membrane you can see the bilayer now i'm not going in detail here what i want to teach you the various types of transport just maximum mcqs aate hain the various types of drug transport so make this chart can you see this chart let me see can you see this chart yes you can see this chart so there are three type of drug transport please understand ha huh? it is difficult topic passive specialized specialized means carrier mediated passive carrier mediated and pinocytosis so passive carrier mediated and pinocytosis passive is of two type diffusion filtration carrier mediated again of two type facilitated active the active one again two type primary and secondary secondary again two type symport antipode i will explain you everything after 10 minutes you will be able to answer the definition of all these 
you can understand the differences between them and the last is pinocytosis no further type everyone give me a thumbs up first you got the various types of transport these are the various types of drug transport please have a look have you got it have you got it okay so these are the various types of drug transport so listen in passive no carrier is required right and no energy is required no energy let me first summarize then i will show you everything i will show you the diagrams of each of them no energy is required no carrier no energy right here carrier is required in both of them here also carrier required here also carrier required because the name is only carrier mediated so facilitated as well as active both require carrier these are carrier mediated specialized but in facilitated only carrier is required no energy is required here along with carrier energy is also required so that is known as active active means it requires energy now energy dega kon who will give the energy if energy is given by atp it is known as primary and if energy is given by another molecule another molecule transport it is known as secondary ha huh? the two types of secondary i will tell you what is the important antibody so this is a broad broad right we will start we will start with passive as i have told you the definition of the passive no carrier no energy no carrier no energy so it is having it is through the membrane itself no carrier required no energy required right that's why known as passive passive see the yellow is the cell membrane can you see the cell membrane okay let me draw a cell here okay just a second so can you see a cell here please see i am trying to make a cell this is a cell membrane the yellow so this cell membrane is shown here can you see it is written membrane here please mind it everyone so this is the cell membrane now the drug can be okay listen the drug is outside or want to move inside or drug is inside want to move outside both can happen so this is the transport through the membrane everyone give me a thumbs up here come on so the yellow is the membrane drug want to go from outside to inside or inside to outside both means transport of the drug through the membrane across the membrane so direction can be anything give me a thumbs up so uh, if no carrier is required and no energy is required is it is known as passive but passive itself is of two type diffusion and filtration so what do you mean by diffusion and filtration what do you mean by diffusion and filtration now this this cell membrane is made up of lipid do you know it it is made up of lipid yes or no so the drug which is just suppose this red drug is lipid soluble so what the drug will do it will come it will dissolve in the membrane it will dissolve and then it will come out so all lipid soluble drugs can cross the cell membrane by dissolving in the membrane give me a thumbs up because it is lipid soluble and membrane is also made up of lipid so this is known as diffusion this is known as diffusion can you see here the red dots in this diagram please try to see these red dots i am marking here can you appreciate all these are lipid soluble see they are going inside the membrane see here please appreciate they are going inside the membrane and going on the other way around so you will say ma'am isme se inside kon hai outside kon hai i don't know i don't know this is inside this is outside or this is outside this is inside of the cell it can be anything i am interested in across the membrane it can be anything give me a thumbs up so the drug the lipid soluble drugs can cross the cell membrane by dissolving in the cell membrane it doesn't require energy it doesn't require carrier the dead this is known as diffusion it is a type of passive it is a type of passive transport and it is known as diffusion so in diffusion the drug should be lipid soluble it should be lipid soluble and it doesn't require energy it doesn't require carrier it will dissolve and go now the second thing what is the direction so you see on on this side this is this is the uh, okay this is my right side this is my left side i hope for same for you right side left left side yes on the left side drug is in high concentration the red dots are more on the right side the red dots are less can you see so this is known as gradient gradient of the drug so drug will move from high to low always always because here no energy is required it is free so free mein hamesha high to low hoga low to high if you want to do low to high you have to give atp you have to give energy so free mein to high to low hi hoga if you want to do opposite to the gradient uh, then you have to uh, consume energy give me a thumbs up so what is the definition of passive what is the definition definition of diffusion who will tell me so diffusion is a transport in which no carrier required no energy required right here also no carrier and no energy but here the drug is lipid soluble so it will dissolve in the membrane and go but it will go from high to low concentration that is towards the gradient this is known as towards the gradient not opposite to the gradient towards the gradient give me a thumbs up so this is the definition of diffusion in front of you it is the most important one among all these the most common and most important is diffusion only so maximum drugs do transport via this mechanism all the lipid soluble so they cross the cell membrane right cell membrane it is a bidirectional it can go from inside to out and outside to in there is no energy no carrier it is always from high to low 
high to low and greater is the different faster is the process you know if the concentration of drug is 10 here and one here so it will take place of course but if the concentration of drug is 100 here and one here so it will be fast it will be fast if it is 1000 and it is one so it will be more fast fastest one so more is the difference between the concentration of the drug on the two side of the membrane faster is the diffusion that is my point give me a thumbs up so it is greater the difference the faster is the process faster is the process so take these points only lipid soluble drug can do this only lipid soluble drug can do this more is the lipid solubility more will be the diffusion of course common sense so this is a drug this is a drug more lipid so there are two drugs just suppose one is more lipid soluble one is less lipid soluble so the one which is more lipid soluble it will go faster as compared to the other which is less lipid soluble so these are all common sense points right give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up what is the other thing filtration so what about non-lipid soluble drug see in this diagram two drugs are shown the red dots are the lipid soluble the blue dots what are these blue squares the blue wali drug yeah this is drug b this is non lipid soluble so it cannot go via diffusion so you know in the cell membrane there are some spaces please appreciate the space the space is known as aqueous pore or paracellular space give me a thumbs up so let me draw a cell membrane here just suppose this is the cell membrane it is like this it is like this the cell membrane is like this so can you appreciate the pores here these are the pores these are the pores so there are two drugs outside the cell both want to go inside this is drug a and this is drug B. A is lipid soluble, B is non-lipid soluble. So A will dissolve here and go inside, but B cannot dissolve, B cannot dissolve. So B, B will go via the space, via the space. So space is known as aqueous pore or paracellular space. I cannot simplify more than this. So it is known as filtration. It is, it also do not require energy. It also do not require carrier. It also do not require energy. It also do not require carrier. That's why both of them are passive. Both of them are passive. No energy, no carrier. No energy, no carrier. But one is, lipid soluble so it will go across the cell membrane another is non-lipid soluble so it will go through the space it will go through the space so one is known as diffusion other is known as filtration i'm trying hard give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so here uh, uh for the diffusion one for the diffusion the limiting uh factor just a second limiting factor is the lipid solubility only lipid soluble drug can do this for the filtration Lipid solubility is not a criteria. Any drug can go, whether it is lipid soluble or non-lipid soluble, it can go through the space. The criteria here is the size. The drug should be small size so it can cross this space. If the drug is of big size, it cannot cross the space, it cannot go. So here the limiting factor is lipid solubility. Here the limiting factor is size. Let me summarize. There's a beautiful diagram showing both. Can you see? Beautiful diagram. Show me both. See both the drugs, the red and the blue are shown here. Let me draw. This is this is drug A, the red dots. This is drug A. This is drug B, the blue squares. Drug B. Now see, both of them want to go from, from left side to right side. Both of them want to go from left to right. Both of them are in high concentration on the left and low concentration in the right. You can see. There are more red dots and more blue dots on the right side, left side and less on the right side. Give me a thumbs up. So both, but the thing is that the red dot are lipid soluble the blue dot are non-lipid soluble so red can directly go dissolve in the cell membrane see it is dissolving see inside the yellow cell membrane they are dissolving and going on the other side so this is known as diffusion it this is known as diffusion but blue cannot do so of course because it is lipid insoluble so see from where blue is going blue is going through a space known as paracellular space so here it is going so both of them do not require carrier both of them do not require transporter both of them do not require energy so both of them are passive both of them are passive one is diffusion one is filtration but in diffusion it is through cell membrane mid dissolve okay and in filtration it is through the spaces the paracellular spaces this is lipid soluble drug can do this only this one and here the size of the drug should be small so that it can cross the space so limiting factor is different everyone give me a thumbs up you are not giving the thumbs up so, Aarti is asking something. Let me read. Ma'am, we can say filtration depends on the molecular size. Very good, Aarti. And weight of the drug. Not exactly weight, Aarti. Sometimes heavy drugs can be smaller. It depends on the density. Right? So, weight mat bolo. Say molecular size. Yes, Aarti. For molecular size, you are right. But for weight, you are wrong. Right? If the drug molecules are smaller than the pores they can easily filter they can easily cross very good Aarti so according to the weight you are wrong only thing so this is the summary so, this is the summary in front of you passive diffusion no carrier no energy no energy so here here it will be lipid soluble so it will go through the cell membrane it is lipid insoluble right so it will go through the space 
parasellular space. Here, the criteria for crossing is lipid solubility. Here, the criteria for crossing is size, molecular size of the drug. And both of these go from high to low concentration. They cannot grow from low to high. It is towards the gradient, not opposite to the gradient. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Still, I have not got the thumbs up. I'm asking for it. Please give so that I will come to know that you understood the concept. So let me come on the second type. The second type is carrier mediated. Carrier mediated or specialized transport, right? So it requires carrier. It requires carrier. So carrier though, it is also of two types, facilitated and active. Don't get confused between filtration and facilitated. Both are starting from F, right? Filtration is a type of passive. Facilitated is a type of carrier mediated. In both of them, carrier to lagega hai. Carrier yaha bhi lagega, carrier yaha bhi lagega. But in filtration, no energy is required, only carrier. And in active, along with carrier, energy is required. See the word active. Active means energy. Give me a thumbs up. Have you got it? So carrier mediated requires carrier. Requires carrier. See all four diagrams. In all four diagrams, yellow is the cell membrane. Inside the cell membrane, you can see a carrier. Let me mark carrier. So this is a carrier here. This is a carrier here. This is a carrier here. This is a carrier. In the previous diagram, there was no carrier. Here, there is always a carrier. Always a carrier. See the drug here. The carrier is taking the drug from this side and leaving it. After taking it inside, leaving the drug on this side. So there is, uh, you know, some changes inside the carrier, the shape of the carrier. So carrier take the drug from this side and leave it this side. Here also you can say carrier is taking the drug from this side and leaving it this side. So look at the arrows. Arrows are important. Here it is taking from this side and leaving it this side. Here it is taking from this side and leaving it this side. So whatever is the side, we can decide it accordingly. So it is taking from one side of the cell membrane and leaving it on the other side, right? So carrier is required. So there is uh, some conformational changes in the shape of the carrier. Carrier take it from one side. So here it is taking the drug and then conformational change karke leaving it on the other side. So this is known as carrier. This is known as carrier. So carrier to sub mein hai. So carrier to sub mein lagega. All of them have carrier. That's why known as carrier mediated. Carrier but carrier. The thing is energy is required or not. If energy is required along with the carrier, it is active. If no energy is required, only carrier is required. Carrier or transporter is one and the same thing. It is known as facilitated. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. So facilitated. What is the definition of facilitated? It requires transporter or carrier, but no energy. No energy. So the definition is, it, is in front of you. It operates passively without energy, but it requires a carrier. Now, whenever the thing is without energy, it is always towards the gradient. That is from high to low concentration. High to low hi jayega, free mein. In free, it is always from high to low. Right. If you want to do low to high, you have to give energy. So it is also high to low. It is also. So see the best diagram. The best diagram. Uh, you can see the drug both sides. The brown colored drug. The dots. Right. Where is the higher concentration? In this, this side it is higher. Of course it is seen. This side it is lower. Of course it is seen. See the cell membrane in between. And see this is a carrier. This is a carrier. So carrier will transport from which to which direction? Without energy I am talking. It is not taking energy. So it will take from this. See the arrow. It is taking the drug from this taking it inside and on the other side it is giving it out on the other side so see the direction of transport is this from high to low concentration everyone give me a thumbs up and the other is active transport here the example you have to learn the example here uh the example here uh is slc it is known as slc what is slc soluble carrier transporter slc it is written in the diagram also slc so slc or glued fort Glute 4 are the example of facilitated diffusion. Active transport, it requires energy also. Energy also. So it will be against the gradient that is from low to high. Now the drug will move from low to high because you are giving money. You are giving energy. Energy means money, right? So that is the thing. Listen here. So can you see the drug? Can you see the blue drug? This is the blue drug. These are the drugs. The blue colors, the, you know, the needle like drug is there. So where is low concentration? Here it is low. You can see it is low in the diagram and here it is high. Here it is high. You can see the cell membrane between them. You can see a carrier. So this is the carrier. So carrier is requiring energy. So it is taking the drug from this side, from low side and giving it on the another side, the high side. See the transport direction. So it is from low to high because it is taking energy. See the ATP. It is written here. ATP is converted into ADP. Means energy is required. Give me a thumbs up. So here active may energy is required. So it is from low to high. Give me a thumbs up. It is of two types, primary and secondary, depending who will give the energy. If energy is simply given by ATP, it is primary. As I have shown you the diagram, uh, it is by ATP. If you are getting the energy from ATP, it is primary. See here, the same diagram I am showing. So this is ATP is giving the energy for taking the drug from low to high, low to high. So this transporter, arrows are important. 
डायग्राम से ज्यादा इसमें एरो इंपॉर्टेंट है सी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द एरो इट इज टेकिंग फ्रॉम दिस एंड लिविंग हियर सो द ट्रांसपोर्ट का डायरेक्शन इज दिस फ्रॉम लो टू हाई so that's why it's require energy in the form of the atp so that is primary but what about secondary in secondary uh, the energy uh, is not given by atp energy is given by another friend molecule another friend friend i will show you the best example okay so there is a friend listen listen the main drug is the blue needle can you see the blue needle here in the first diagram see the blue needles this this is the main drug so see the concentration here blue ka concentration low hai kya and here the blue ka concentration high hai kya if you are agree give me a thumbs up so blue the blue needle the blue drug is the main drug that is our substrate a substance a drug that drug want to go from low to high right so from low to high so drug is going to the transporter and asking please take me from here to there the transporter is like a auto rickshaw right so drug is asking for the lift please can you take me from this side to this side you are a transporter you are a auto rickshaw please give me the lift please transport me so he is saying i will transport you if you give me the money if you give the money because you want the transport from low concentration to high if it was if it was from high to low i can transport for free i can transport for free but you require from low to high i require money you give me atp you give me money i can transport you from low side to high side yes but it doesn't have money the people is poor the person is poor and he don't have money so he will ask the friend for a help right so the red drug the substance b is the friend the another molecule can you see so substance b is present in high concentration here the the main drug a is low concentration but the, the helper drug is in high concentration here right so helper will say the transporter the red one he will say the auto rickshaw wala bhaiya the transporter you transport me from here to there because i am in high concentration this side and low concentration this side so you transport me for free you don't require atp for that you don't require for money for that you transport me and when i will get transported from high to low i will emit energy that energy will be utilized by my friend and then you transport the friend from low to high so here the energy is given by another molecule transport give me a thumbs up if you got my point if you got my point so here see the direction of transport of both drug the blue drug and the red drug so blue want to tra get transported from low to high low to high so ultimately blue will also be transported from low to high but the energy required for that is given by another red drug b drug that is a friend the helper drug the helper drug or friend drug so helper or friend will do the transport from high to low so the energy emitted from this transport will be utilized by drug a to get transported from low to high are you getting my point so both are moving in the same direction a is also moving from here to here so energy emitted will be taken by b from here to here so it is known as symport symport means both are moving in the same direction both are moving in the same direction symport is a type of secondary secondary is of two type symport and uh, uh, symport aur dusre ko kya bolte hain let me see antiport symport and antiport symport antiport antiport you got the meaning of antiport i guess antiport so in antiport again the blue drug is same blue is in low concentration here you can see this is the main drug substrate a and this is high concentration here and blue drug want to go from here to here so the transporter the auto rickshaw is saying no you give me money then only i will transport you give me atp you give me energy then only i will transport because you are asking from low to high so i require atp right so he don't have atp so he will call the friend but friend is not on this side friend is on opposite side see the red drug here the red drug is on this side high concentration the helper drug helper drug the friend drug will always move from high to low so that energy emitted can be utilized by drug a so here the transporter so helper is moving in this direction but main drug is moving in that direction so it is known as antiport at right hard here come on so symport antiport in symport both the drugs the main drug and the helper drug move in same direction and in antiport the both the drugs the main drug and the helper drug moves in opposite direction so both of them are secondary the type of secondary secondary transports so see the diagram the beautiful diagram if i don't explain you and you see this diagram directly in kdt you will get confused main drug here is the blue one and red dots is the helper see in the first diagram red dots kis side zyada hai on this side and on in other diagram the red dots are more on this side so transport of both of them in both of them the transport of the blue drug is from this to this from this to this but in the first diagram the transport of the red drug is here and in the second diagram the transport of the red drug is here now look at the arrows the blue and the red arrow so here both the arrows are in same direction that's why known as symport and here the arrows are in opposite direction that's why known as antiport so i i had given you a beautiful concept but still you are not giving the thumbs up 
and last is pinocytosis pinocytosis is cell eating cell eating right cell eating cell eating right so it is engulfing of the cell membrane nothing is required so can can you see this is a cell membrane this is the drug so it will take the drug inside it make up a cycle and the drug will go inside the cell membrane so just suppose this is a cell and here is the drug so this drug will come here so okay this cell will take the drug inside it like this right right and ultimately the drug the cycle is formed and drug will reach inside this is pinocytosis so everyone give me a thumbs up at right now so who will give me the summary who will give me the summary what is passive what is carrier mediated what is pinocyte i am giving the summary please listen so here no carrier no energy let me write no carrier no energy right so it is directly through the cell membrane lipid soluble one and it is lipid insoluble lipid insoluble so it will go through paracellular spaces so here cut off the limiting factor is lipid solubility here is, here limiting factor is size so in both of them no carrier no energy here carrier is required carrier is required so carrier is required here also and here also but here along with carrier no energy and here along with carrier energy is required right right here energy is given by atp so it is primary and energy is given by another helper molecule friend molecule it is known as secondary if helper and main drug both move in same direction same direction direction it is symport and if they are moving in opposite direction it is antiport i really tried hard i really tried hard some of the thumbs up i got it but still not all so this is the revision in front of you this is the revision in front of you right so this is the two type of passive the two type of passive you can see the filtration inside it diffusion and the filtration filtration so diffusion is through the membrane filtration is through the space the two types of passive right and these all are example of carrier mediated so you can see carrier in all of them here only carrier is required no energy is required you see nothing is written atp molecule no so it is known as facilitated and here it is active 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 right active because atp energy is required here energy is given by atp so it is primary and here energy is given by another molecule so it is secondary secondary both are moving in same direction so symport both are moving in opposite direction so antiport is this other simplify i cannot do it i cannot do it so all of them are together this is passive this all is carrier mediated carrier mediated carrier mediated may be a facilitated and these all are active active may be primary these two are secondary secondary may be symport ye antiport or passive may the two type diffusion and filtration so this is the summary and last is endocytosis so everyone give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up everyone means everyone so the time is limited i have to end this lecture and start another one after a break of 10 minutes just a second you have to give me a minute for announcements after every lecture i have to do these certain announcements right so please forgive me for that so thank you very much uh, for being with me uh, the next class is just after 10 minutes after a break of 10 minutes so at uh, i guess 10:45 i will start the next class and continue with the first pharmacokinetics chapter that is absorption so in the first class we will continue with absorption so you know on an academy two types of subscription plus you will get only an academy live and recorded lectures in iconic along with an academy you will get prep ladder also and these are the various plans available with us so on plus these are the plans on iconic these are the plans you can go with any plan you want smaller plan you want larger plan the lo longer durations shorter duration according to your wish need you can take any one longer the plan cheaper it is and you have to apply the code suchdev10 before purchasing any of this plan so you will get maximum discount so thank you very much see you all just after a break of 10 minutes just after a break of 10 minutes please everyone be back on time on youtube only let's crack neat pg i guess you already have the link let's crack neat pg channel of youtube thank you very much